as well, flamingos and yeah. kitties. You know what? That that's it. I'm calling it. Oh yeah. Um, disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> we are in Madrid. Yes. Just yes. for four hours. We're in Madrid, very briefly. It'll be like the first three minutes of this video. Yes. But we figured we're here for four hours. We may as well vlog it. Yes. And we're on. we're on our way to Seville. Um, but the the way like the cheapest way to go was like. Barcelona, Madrid, Seville. Um, so yeah, we have four hours. I think our second train got pushed like a little, hour, yeah, a little bit after we booked it. Um, they were like, oh, it's been pushed. So I was like, okay, we have a decent amount of time. We weren't planning on coming to Madrid, so we're gonna look around for a little bit. First stop in Madrid is a market to get lunch. Yep. It's very similar to the one we went to in Barcelona. But a bit more civilized. But yeah, less, bit... less chaotic. Yeah. But also it's a Monday, which probably helps. Yeah. Um, but... I'm glad it's more civilized because um, you know how cheap we are. We didn't lock out our suitcases, so we're just carrying them everywhere today. <laughs> I got a little plate of empanadas. They smell so good. I didn't even know what we got because Catherine went inside and bought them while I was waiting. <laughs> Surprise, so what do we have? Empanadas. Um, they're actually written actually, on the top, I can see that one says cool. chicken. Yeah, I think this is tomato, cheese, chicken, and it just said classic meat. So, mystery. We'll see what it is. <laughs> they, they smell really they good. They really do. Alright, it's been approximately 2 minutes and 20 seconds, yeah. and we have just finished. <laughs> <laughs> we were hungry. Yeah, we got up at 6am, so I feel like our body clocks are like off a couple hours. Yeah. And it's not even midday. <laughs> no. Um, review? What was your favourite one? The beef one, even though I had surprise olive. Yeah, just one singular whole olive. It's offensive. Um, which, if you watched any of our grease videos, you will know that we are not olive girlies. I hate olives. Um, but other than that, it Pretty was good. really good. I like the cheese and tomato one as mm, well. Very cheesy. But they were all good. Empanadas are just—they're great. Little a little pastry pocket. Yeah. Although we were saying we are so picky that I wish they listed every single ingredient. Tell me there's olives. Yeah. How do people with allergies do it here? You'd have to ask. You would. For every single thing. But and now open. we are going to get churros because we have been recommended a place. So that's next. In Australia when you get churros and chocolate, it's like melted chocolate. Whereas we say here, Australia. In Sa at Sad Churro. No, I've had a churros other places. Have Australia. you? Yeah. Um, whereas here, it's like like a liquid, but too thick to drink. It's yeah. like very thick, but much runnier than you'd get it in Australia. Yeah. Which is interesting. Weird, but we'll see how it is. We are excited. It, it smells good. good, yeah. It's thicker than we thought. It isn't a pure liquid. Let's get a close up of that dip. Oh, yeah. It is very runny. Gotta shake it up a little. So we have now come to Retiro Park, which is like just above the station we need to be back at. So it worked out very nicely because it's also like a, a place that I got told to come. So Yeah, it's huge <clears throat> and it's it lovely. Is. I mean, you can see this whole like pond behind us, which has fish and turtles yeah. and obviously you can row on it. It's very There's nice. There's a few buskers around. It's very nice. We're just going to kind of chill out here for a, a little while. Yeah, I think. I think there's like a fountain and some greenhouses and other stuff but we're just gonna wander and chill and yeah we thought we'd only be in the city for a little bit but um, our train is actually like in an hour and 20 minutes yeah um so it was a lot longer in the city than we thought but that's all right we'll have a bit of a relax here and then head to the station to head to Seville yeah So that's our flying visit of Madrid done. Yep. We just sat in the park for a little bit, watched the ducks. <laughs> and the turtles and the fish. Yeah, and then we just walked past the Crystal Palace on our way out. 
and now we are going back to the train station. Yeah, something interesting here is, I don't know if this is common in Europe, it's definitely not in Australia, but when you're catching a high speed train, you need to go through security. So well, you need to get to the train station. It's not like, not like airport security, but they still need to like scan your bags and stuff. Yeah, but actually this is the first, well, Barcelona was the first time we've ever experienced yeah. it. Um, which is interesting because we did we did high speed trains in Italy. Yeah. We didn't have to do any of that. Yeah. But here you need to use security, so we need to make sure we get to the station. Like nice and early. Yeah. 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 Y
hospital when we just got in. Yeah. Um, we've just been wandering around for a while. It's very interesting. We did some research and because of like various things like I guess just like renovations but also there was like an earthquake in the 1700s. It's been renovated with different styles over like hundreds of years. So it's like Middle Eastern, Baroque, Gothic, Roman, like so many. Yeah, it's really interesting. We're in a section right now where like it looks very so Middle Eastern, um, but the tiling is very like um, a common into this area. And it's also the oldest um, European palace that's still like actively in use by a royal family. Um, I think originally it dates back to the 11th century, barring all those renovations. Um, but yeah, the royal family still uses it when they come to Seville, which is pretty cool. It's the oldest one. Okay, we finished up at the palace. Oh, um, disappointing. Yeah, it was. The palace itself was lovely. The garden was closed. Nowhere at all did it say anywhere about the garden being nope. closed until you got to the end. No one the told garden. us. And then we got to the entrance, and I was like, "Hey, how do we enter the garden?" And she was just like, "Shut." I was like, okay, um, that's fine, it's half the reason we came, yep. So I just sent a strongly worded email because I do not think paying full price for half yep. the area because makes got, sense. The, the garden takes up more than half the like, yeah. area and yeah, we just paid the full price for the tickets. And then, no, the I'm not having that. <laughs> the last room that we were in, so for, for context, that was about, it was about 3.30 and it closes at 5. Yeah. And the room we were in, they were like, we're shutting this room, you have to yep. leave. And we were like, why? And no like, explanation. And we were like, but why? Nothing. Nothing. Overall, relatively disappointing. We will update you if we get anything. It'd be great if you could go to both. Like, if you could go to both, definitely go. Definitely worth it. If you can't and you don't know because they don't let you know ahead of time at all, I don't know. So, yeah, we'll update you if if my strongly worded email gets us anywhere. <laughs> and now we have an extra, like, hour and a half we didn't account for. So we're just going to wander through the city again. Which at It'll least is fine. It's nice and it stopped raining. Right we'll bring it back, so. we'll bring it back, it's fine. Alright, we were doing so well at me not finding out what we're doing until um, Catherine didn't realise that my email had automatically added it to my calendar and I got a notification on my watch. Why would I ever realise that? No, I, I, don't, I, I don't know why my phone adds some stuff to my calendar and not others, but... Oh well. Alas. <laughs> we made it till half an hour before. We did. Do you still want to tell people where we're going? <laughs> no, you can. We're going to a flamenco dance performance. Yay! Which sounds very fun. It does. I don't really know what to expect. It just has a lot of good reviews and I know it's Spanish so <laughs> yeah it's exciting because I wanted to do like a Spanish musical dance thing while we're here um, so it was a good pick yay I didn't even know if you knew that no I didn't it just looked fun <laughs> we don't know if we're going to be allowed to film in there if we are you'll see some if not we will see you in a second we'll give you a review after <laughs> He strummed that fast. He didn't have like any finger things. No. So it was just his raw fingers on the strings. I don't know how they aren't bleeding. Like every second. I know, it was crazy. Um, and then we just went to a restaurant with dinner that's meant to open at 7.30 and it, it, it is not even a, a single sign of life. No. Um, and it's after 7. I had found this restaurant so. before and I looked at it last night when it was open so I just thought it would be open when the show finished and then it wasn't and then we waited and then it didn't open <laughs> so we're just like we're 
we're getting hungry and we're giving up. To eat. We'll find a good restaurant on our on our walk back towards where we're staying. Yes, yes, we will, and we'll find Chrissy a cake, and we'll end the birthday nicely. <laughs> okay. We're at an Italian restaurant. We have to film on the table so we don't. I was gonna say so we don't seem weird, but this is also weird. Um, also, so we don't get random people eating their dinner in our video. We're eating grassini because we're hungry. And um, we're getting pasta. We're getting pasta. Gonna be good. It is, we are obviously at a train station. Yes. Um, we are going on a day trip today to Cadiz, which we have had two complete strangers mention to us. Like separately. Separately. When we've been like, oh, we're going to Seville. Both of them were like, oh, you have to go to Cadiz yeah. holiday. Oh, you're there. So we are. We're doing it. Um, it's actually not as early as it looks. It's about eight in the morning. But Spain has this really weird quirk, which is that it's in the same time zone as the rest of Europe. But like, if you think like vertically, it's like in line with the UK. Yeah. So it is 7.56 and the sun is not rising for another 40 minutes. And it's not even winter yet. No, it's pitch it's black. It's pitch black. And it's almost 8 a.m. It's very weird. Yeah, I don't know why. So we feel, not... I feel like we feel tired than it is. It feels <laughs> earlier than it is. Yes. Um, it's just, it's odd. I don't know why they're not in a different time zone. Mm. But it's oh. just, a, it's a fun little, a fun little thing about Spain. But yes, so we are at the station of bright and early. We're like 30 minutes early for our train because yep. the buses only go every 20 minutes. Yeah. Speaking of buses, there is a bus to Cadiz, but we looked up reviews and so many people said they were an hour late, they were two hours late, and we weren't risking that for a day trip. No. We know how the train works, we know they're good, so. And it's only a little more expensive. It for the is train. only a little more expensive, so we're back on a train. <laughs> All right, we made it. Yes, we're in Cadiz. After a pretty easy train ride, it was a little bit late, but it was fine. It was, and I saw a flamingo. Yeah, I, I saw a pack of them. Apparently there's wild flamingos in yeah. Cadiz. How random. Um, so we're gonna have to keep an eye out on the train back and see if yeah. we can see them again. Um, but we're gonna just spend five hours probably wandering around the city. Yeah, we don't really know much about Cadiz, but we, I think there's like a fortress maybe, and so we'll see. We've just been walking along the ocean, or what is it? Yeah, it would be the ocean. The ocean. And um, we found this little like park that has like a waterfall in it. Yeah. But we are. Uh... We're like behind. Oh. We're like in a cave it's so cool. behind a waterfall. It is really cool. It's very. It feels. It doesn't really feel natural, but it like. It's interesting. It's a lot of like moss and stuff growing. It's very cool. Oh, So this castle is free to walk around. Um, there's not a whole lot of information on it, um, but the chapel that we were just in was built in the 1600s. So I'm gonna guess most of the castle yeah, is right quite then. old. Um, but yeah, it's just free to wander into. It's like on the coast, so get some good views. and we found the central market. Catherine got some paella, just like a tiny serve, and I got a fresh juice. Um, this market is it's not super busy, which is probably because it's like a Wednesday, but... It's like 2 p.m. as well. Yeah, it's got a lot of stalls, like there's a lot of juices, a lot of food, and then also like fresh produce and stuff. It's nice. But we had no idea it was here. We just were walking and saw it.
we've spent the last little while just wandering around the street, the streets and sitting in different parks. Yeah, I feel like there's like so many hidden things here. Like yeah. I just found an old Roman amphitheater. Yeah. It's just like literally hidden behind buildings. I know, it's so, it's so interesting. And we really like the relaxed vibe here. Yeah. But it's also not that different to Seville. Yeah, I reckon it's kind of like coastal Seville. Yeah. Which I really like. Yeah. I do like how relaxed and chill it is. Yeah, it is really nice. As always, there are like a lot of other things you can do, museums and like you can go into that Roman amphitheater yeah. um, if you have more I think time. There's a tower to go up as well to yeah. see the view. But for now, it is time for us to head back to the station for our train. Um, and then we have one more day in Seville. So we will see you for that then. Last day in Spain already. I know, crazy. Ugh. Good morning from our last day in Seville. Last day and in this Spain. beautiful weather that we've got. Yeah, I was just saying to Chrissy that sometimes travel is annoying because you can't spend terrible days inside. Like, we have stuff to see. Yeah. This is our last chance, and it, uh, unfortunately, the stuff to see is a park. <laughs> yes, but we're not going to let the rain stop us. We no, are no. going to the park anyway. Yes. Um, but first, we're walking alongside the cathedral. I don't know how much you can really see behind my umbrella. Um, but we walked past this the other day because it's near the palace, and it's incredible. It has some, like, beautiful carvings and stuff yeah, on it. Yeah, it's a beautiful, like beautiful architecture it is um and we are actually heading back to the same brunch place we went to two oh, yeah, days ago okay, yeah um because it was so good and we want those sandwiches again yeah maybe another acai bowl it's incredible that within three days in a city we managed to find a place that we're just going to go back to and get the exact same thing that's not spanish at all nope this is not the first place we've done this either <laughs> whoops Our lunch slash brunch was delicious. It was. We've made it to the first park and it is closed due to the weather. So we're just luck for the mm. second park. Otherwise, we're, we're just, just gonna going head to back. <laughs> oh, what a day. We haven't had the best luck with parks in Seville. No, we haven't. I think it's, I, we think that the reason the Palace Park was closed the other day was also because of the weather. Yeah, it does not um, say that anywhere. On no, there, it doesn't. But. The other parts, like these parks, do say they're closed for the weather, so it makes sense, but we'll see. <laughs> what, do Europeans not like parks on, in the wet? Like, what's happening? This is the first city we've ever been to where they close parks when it rains. It's not even, like, the worst rain we've ever seen. No. But it's not a fun rain to be walking around in trying to find an open park. You know what? That that's it. I'm calling it. It's it's 1:46. <laughs> we're leaving. We, we were so hopeful earlier when we said that we're not going to let a little bit of rain stop us. But turns out Seville will let a little bit of rain just stop them. Oh my god! I just saw a branch fall off a tree. Okay. Well, maybe that's why they're closed. But then still, there's parks. I mean, there's... that didn't even happen in the park. That yeah. happened on the footpath. So. Well, we'll see you when we're back and dry. Looking a little bit like a drowned rat, but we're back. <laughs> this was with an umbrella as well. But Rough. Yeah. Not the best end to our time in Seville, but... Or Spain in general. That's this true. was like not the Spanish weather we, we were hoping for. No, but... It gives us a good excuse to come back to Seville one day. It does. So that's... Gotta see all the parks. That's something. Um, but we are going to call it here. Because we're just going to chill inside for the rest yeah. of the afternoon. Uh, but thank you for coming along on this very wet time in Seville. <laughs> uh, it didn't go as ex exactly as planned, but that's travel for you. Yeah. We still had a good time. It is a lovely city. Yeah. Um, and it's nice to walk around, even in the rain. Yeah. Just wish the got... parks were open. At least we got some sun in Cadiz yesterday as well. Yeah. Um, but tomorrow we are off to our actual last country of Europe. That's insane. Which is wild. The end of Schengen too. Absolutely insane. Crazy. Um, so we will see you then. Uh, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video where we didn't get to do most <laughs> of what we wanted. Yep. Travel reality. 
follow us on Instagram and oh my gosh, the wind is getting very strong. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like a whistling. It's insane. Um, so yeah, we will see you in Portugal. See you then. Bye. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.